This is my very small cave roach colony. It's also my isopod, blue isopod colony. So if you see them walking around, that's what you're seeing. And there's an adult. And sorry for the bad lighting. I'll pull him out and give you an idea. So that's a mature male. Um, I don't have any mature females yet, so I'm guessing they're going to get even bigger. And it took a very long time for this to happen. That's why I'm very excited about it. Um, they're huge. I mean, what else, can, <laughs> what else can you say about it? They're, they're huge and they're really cool. And he's being really good right now, probably because it's kind of cold in here. They do have a heat mat on their cage. Um, but the air in the room right now is really cold and they're out right now. Um, pretty much I just keep them. There's a layer of coconut and he might flutter off my finger. There he goes. These do jump. Um, there's a layer of coconut with a layer of dried leaves with some cork and some miscellaneous stuff. Let's see if we find an immature one in here. Oops. And there's an immature one. Whoa. But it's quite large, so it's probably going to end up being a female. Bring her into the light. And normally they do not sit still like this. They run. Um, but I'd say it's pretty close to the size of my hissers. Let's see. I'm going to see some isopods when I lift this up. There they go. Um, and those are my powder blue isos. I've been raising these for going on five years now. And there they are. And I raised quite a few species of these. These are the ones that have done the best. They seem the least finicky. Um, they are on kind of the medium size though, side, though. You know, I have some dwarf species that are tiny and then some really big species. These are kind of an in-betweener. You can see they've eaten most of this cork. Um, they're not really digging the orange. I'd say there's probably about two, 3,000 of them in here. And that is all from an original, come on, focus, an original colony of probably seven individuals has produced many, many, many thousands. There they are. You see them running away. Um, and they eat dried leaves. I throw some dog food in here occasionally. Um... There's also some vulgar in here. There's a vulgar. Just that I collected. They don't really reproduce. They're just kind of in here for fun. Um, I feed them fish flake. They like their dried leaves. They like, they, they love that cork. They've eaten the whole top off that cork. And they, they coexist with the roaches rather well. And so, let me just disturb everybody. I don't normally do this, but there's another mature. Oh, there we go. That's probably a mature pair with the girl on the left. There we go, there's another one. It's another big one. I'm really excited about these. I've been waiting on these to mature for a very, very, very long time. But I only have, I think, ten. These were gifted to me. I did not buy them. Um, I was lucky to have a fellow bug enthusiast give me a few which I've been waiting forever to get big. So hopefully I'll have some babies for sale at some point in life. Um, the powder blues I do sell. Um, I sell quite a few of them actually. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, ask. Thanks.